The Chicago Police Department was forced earlier this month to release body cam footage of a February 2019 raid that left an innocent woman naked and handcuffed while police officers searched her home, WBBM-TV reported. Anyanette Young, a social worker had come home from work and was undressing when officers repeatedly struck her door with a battering ram at around 7 p.m. It was so traumatic to hear the thing that was hitting the door, Young told the local CBS News affiliate, while watching the video. And it happened so fast, I didn't have time to put on clothes. The footage was obtained by Young as part of her lawsuit against the police. Lawyers for the police department reportedly attempted to block the TV station from releasing the footage hours before it aired. Peter Johnson, a criminal law attorney, and professor at the University of California Los Angeles School of Law told Insider Police made mistakes long before they stormed Young's home. Johnson explained that because police appeared to be operating on faulty information from an informant in order to execute a warrant, they should have exercised more due diligence to verify the information and confirm the individual they were looking for actually lived in, and was present at the home before they stormed in. He said law enforcement actions in Young's case suggest a lack of respect for the Fourth Amendment which protects individuals' privacy. He added that in circumstances where search warrants are needed, it's critical to balance individual privacy rights, with law enforcement interests. In the video, Young was left basically naked as police searched her home and questioned her. In Johnson's view, the officers could have treated the woman better. He suggested that it seemed apparent some of the officers realized they had made a mistake. The video is an extension of the lack of dignity or lack of weighing in the privacy interest of individuals. It started well before they entered. So it's not surprising that they left her naked, and it's not surprising that they had her handcuffed that way, he said. In the video, a sergeant can be heard asking, there's no one else who lives in this apartment? No, no one else lives here, Young responded. She told police they were in the wrong home more than 40 times throughout the video. Wesley Scogan, a member of Northwestern University's Institute for Policy Research who was focused on community policing, told Insider the raid was an example of commonplace behavior that occurred in the Chicago Police Department before Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot instituted new policies for search warrants in January 2020. Mayor Lightfoot, who was elected in April 2019, initially said she only learned about Young's case on the day the video was released but later that same week backtracked and revealed that she was aware